हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर एस बी पोले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स शिवाजी आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज कन्नड़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट औरंगाबाद टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक ट्रांसपरेंस ऑफ हीट फ्रेंड्स यू नो व्हाट इज हीट ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी बिटवीन टू सब्सटेंसेस एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर इज कॉल्ड हीट हीट फ्लोज फ्रॉम हायर टू लोअर टेम्परेचर यू नो when your dairy temperature difference between two bodies two objects a transfer will take place so you, you take uh, two objects one is hot and other is cold if we place these two objects in contact then what will happen heat from hotter object will flow to colder object means there is difference in temperature between these two objects so heat will transfer from one object to an another object now friends we will see modes of heat transfer by which modes heat will transfer heat transfer will take place there are three modes of heat transfer first is conduction second is convection third is radiation so friends we will see each mode one by one so first we will see what is conduction in figure you can see the conduction process process in which heat is transmitted from one point to the other through the substance without actual motion of the particles it is prominent in solids see here in the figure we can see uh, one candle flame is there and a rod which is held in hand is shown there means one end is on the flame so that end which is on the flame will receive heat from the flame and this end will become hot and see the arrow arrow is shown here the arrow shows conduction of heat from that hot end to cold end which is in our hand so this happened due to conduction process here we have seen the heat transmitted without actual movement of particles means particle of that rod does not carry heat by actual movement means particle at the flame end they will get heat from the flame they will become hot and they vibrate at their mean position and they in this way this vibratory motion uh, gives heat from one particle to neighboring particle and uh, again that particle will again convey heat to next neighboring particle so heat will flow from one particle to another particle and so on so heat will flow from hot end to cold end without actual movement of particles but particles vibrate at their mean position and they convey heat to neighboring particles in this way so we have uh, written here no actual mo movement of particles is there uh, so this is example of conduction uh, second convection process in which heat is transmitted from one place to other by actual movement of heated particles it is prominent in fluids so friends in conduction we have seen uh, the process Uh, when we uh, heat the rod at one end and again end uh, uh, another end we get uh, heat at the another end uh, we if we hold that in our hand the rod uh, we, we feel sensation of hotness we feel hot our hand will experience that heat so this in this convection process there is no actual movement of heated particle there is actual movement of heated particles uh, in conduction there is no actual movement of particles but in convection there is actual movement of heated particles it it, it takes place in fluids means it takes place in uh, air or it takes place in liquid so these are the fluids air or uh, liquid so in this figure we can see uh, a burner is shown uh, there is heat uh, that uh, on that burner uh, one pan or or one pot 
is there and in that pot there is water and uh, when this water receives heat from that burner then wh what what will happen uh, the particles or the molecules of water at the bottom of that pot they receive heat from the flame and when they receive heat uh, their density become less and they go to upward portion of that water of the of that pot means they go they they rise up and uh, they replace the colder particles the colder particles come to bottom and hotter particle mo molecules go to top colder particles go to bottom in this way a convection cycle is created here is established convection current is established here we can say and it is shown by that arrow circle so it is convection here is actual movement of the molecules of the water um, so they they carry heat so there is actual movement of heated particles we can we now see radiation process third mode of heat transfer is radiation the process in which it is transmitted from one place to other directly without necessity of intervening medium see in this figure we can see uh, a pan is on the flame and uh, we, we 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 can see the radiation of that heat uh, because uh, radiation is taking place here without necessity of intervening medium uh, uh, the, it is shown by that uh, uh, spiral type uh, arrows uh, spiral po portion it is uh, radiation of heat uh, and uh, again we, we we know very well known example uh, we take example of sun mm. we receives we um, every, every everybody receives uh, heat from sun in the form of radiation it is example of radiation so friends these are the references i have used for this powerpoint presentation preparation thank you